What's up everyone? This is Joe from the Livingston Library and in this installment of Joe's Jukebox I want to share some of my favorite books on the subject of hip-hop. It's hard to believe hip-hop has been around for close to 50 years now having been invented all the way back in 1973 by DJ Cool Herc and arguably the biggest most iconic star in the history of the genre is Jay-Z. He made his debut in 1996 with the album Reasonable Doubt and has since put out a number of other classic albums like Hard Knock Life, The Blueprint, and The Black Album, among others. Jay-Z is also the subject of an excellent book titled Jay-Z Made in America, written by Michael Eric Dyson and published in 2019. Dyson is an accomplished author as well as an ordained Baptist minister and esteemed professor currently teaching at Vanderbilt University. Dyson's book is not only a scholarly examination of Jay-Z's life and career, it's also an argument for the rapper's status as a great American poet on the level of Walt Whitman or Robert Frost, and one of the most influential shapers of American culture over the past 30 years. I started reading this book on a plane ride a little over a year ago in pre-pandemic times, and I got so engrossed, I basically kept reading in the cab ride to my hotel, and then in the lobby of the hotel while I waited for the room to be cleaned, and then finally on the bed in my hotel room where I finally finished it. Now whether you've been listening to Jay-Z since the mid-90s or if you just want to start getting into his music now, I think you'll find this book uh, not just fascinating but enlightening too. The book is available in print in our collection as well as from many other Buckles libraries and there's also an audiobook version read by the author, which is available on Hoopla Digital. Uh, plus, you can find a number of other great books on race and American culture by Michael Eric Dyson in print in our collection or as ebooks and audiobooks on Hoopla and Overdrive. Personally, I've been a fan of Jay Z's music since the 90s, but I've enjoyed hip hop music in general ever since the mid 80s. And when you're a young kid, living in the American suburbs in the mid-80s, like I was, uh, there are basically two groups responsible for introducing you to hip-hop music. One would be Run DMC, and the other would be the Beastie Boys. In fact, the first album I ever bought for myself was a cassette of the Beastie Boys' full-length debut, Licensed to Ill. Granted, not every track on that 1986 album has aged super well, but most of it still holds up pretty solidly. And the Beasties also went on to release a number of other Hall of Fame hip-hop records like Paul's Boutique and Ill Communication and Hello Nasty. Sadly, the band stopped making music together after member Adam MCA Yauk passed away in 2012. But back in 2018, surviving members Adam Adrock Horowitz and Michael Diamond, a.k.a. Mike D, published The Beastie Boys Book, in which they, along with an all-star cast of guest contributors, chronicle the band's marvelous and influential music career. As big a part of my life as the Beastie Boys music has been, somehow this book managed to fly under my radar when it first came out. But fortunately, I was told about it by my co-worker Jenea, who works in the tech department here at the Livingston Library, so thank you for that, Jenea. Now, the print version of the Beastie Boys book, which of course we have in our collection, is a must-read for any fan of the band or hip-hop in general. On top of all the memoir-style chapters written by the band members themselves and pieces by famous fans like Luke Sante, Colson Whitehead, and Jonathan Lethem, and Amy Poehler, there's also hundreds of photographs of the band members from their days in New York City's early 80s punk and hip-hop scenes all the way through to the 21st century. Now, if audiobooks are more your thing, you're in luck, because the audio version of the Beastie Boys book is one of the best audiobooks I've ever listened to. Narrators of the book include not just Ad Rock and Mike D, but also Spike Jones, Rosie Perez, John Stewart, Chuck D, Roy Choi, Will Ferrell, Snoop Dogg, Rachel Maddow, Bette Midler, Wanda Sykes, Ben Stiller, John C. Riley, and Maya Rudolph, just to name a few. The audiobook is available to borrow using your Livingston Library card on Overdrive, where you can check out an ebook edition as well. If you're looking for more books about hip hop icons, we also have in our collection books like Go Ahead in the Rain, Notes to a Tribe Called Quest by Hanif Adurakib. We have uh, God Save the Queens, The Essential Women in Hip Hop by Kathy Iandoli. There's The Butterfly Effect, How Kendrick Lamar Ignited the Soul of Black America by Marcus J. Moore. 
the Gucci Mane Guide to Greatness by Gucci Mane with Soren Baker. Vibrate Higher, a rap story by Talib Kweli. And a book about another one of my personal favorite all-time groups, the Wu-Tang Clan, a book called Chamber Music, Wu-Tang and America in 36 Pieces by Will Ashen. For any kids out there who want to read about hip-hop, we have books like what is Hip Hop by Eric Morse with art by Annie Yee. Uh, the Roots of Rap by Carol Boston Weatherford with art by Frank Morrison. Uh, Hip Hop Speaks to Children, a celebration of poetry with a beat edited by Nikki Giovanni and featuring work by poets and rappers like Langston Hughes, Lauren Hill, Gil Scott Heron, Kanye West, Queen Latifah, Jacqueline Woodson, uh, Most Def, and Tupac. And the book also comes with a CD containing recordings of many of the works in the book. And for young adult readers, we have Chuck D presents This Day in Rap and Hip Hop History, perfect for all the trivia buffs slash music nerds out there, such as myself. Don't forget, you can also listen to all kinds of great hip hop albums, including the catalogs of Jay-Z and the Beastie Boys by streaming or temporarily downloading them at hoobladigital.com using your Livingston Library card, and or on CD through various Buckles libraries. Till next time, remember, no matter where you go, you are what you are, playa.